What is homeostasis, and why should you care about it? Well, aside from being somewhat difficult to pronounce, homeostasis is arguably one of the most important concepts in all of biology. Very simply, homeostasis is the ability of a living being to regulate internal conditions, to maintain a kind of status quo. That may mean maintaining a constant temperature, pH, osmolarity, oxygen concentration, metabolic rate, basically anything. Either way, homeostasis is a phenomenon that occurs at every level of life. From individual cells to entire organisms, keeping things constant is the name of the game. To understand why this is important is to understand the basis of the sister sciences, nutrition and toxicology. Biology may best be described as the Goldilocks science, because unlike internet memes, Doctor Who episodes, and internet memes about Doctor Who, when it comes to biological systems, more is not always better. For most living organisms, tardigrades notwithstanding, survival is a matter of staying within a specific set of conditions, not too hot, not too cold, just the right amount of air and water and food. And most of an organism's life is spent trying to maintain that delicate balance despite constant changes to its outside environment. What do we mean by environmental changes? Well, environmental changes could be anything from alterations in temperature or oxygen levels, to availability of sufficient food or water, to exposure to other organisms or hazardous chemicals. In all cases, living organisms have different adaptations that allow them to cope with these changes and keep their cell or cells within the margins of what their physiology can tolerate. And what do we call this incredible quality, this ability to keep within the lines of too little and too much? homeostasis, and it is one of the defining traits of living creatures. So why should you care? Well, as living organisms go, human beings are fairly complex and have a lot of systems to keep operating in a normal range. Your heart rate, your blood sugar levels, your hormone levels, the amount of free iron in your liver cells, and a multitude of other parameters must be kept within a narrow range of values for you to feel happy and healthy. It's not an easy thing to do, and when things get too far out of whack, we tend to feel sick. But how much is too much, and how little is too little? These are the questions asked and answered by the toxicological and nutritional sciences respectively. Both fields are concerned with the amount of an exposure that a person can tolerate without losing homeostasis. They just approach the problem from opposite directions. Toxicologists tend to look at maximum values, how much of something a person can be exposed to without suffering a negative consequence, while nutritionists tend to look at minimum values, how much of something does a person need to be exposed to to avoid suffering a negative effect. It's two sides of the same coin. So to answer our initial questions, what is homeostasis and why should we care? Homeostasis is the ability of a living organism to maintain an internal environment in spite of changes to its external environment. We care because without homeostasis, life as we know it wouldn't exist, and neither would the scientific disciplines that we used to study homeostasis, nutrition, and toxicology.